Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimena's Promo, and today we will be talking about the differences and everything that is brand new that's a part of Samsung One UI 4.1 versus Samsung One UI 4.0. So this video is for those who have the Galaxy S21 series and just recently updated to 4.1, which mine doesn't have that update just yet, or if you went off and you bought one of the brand new Galaxy S22 series phones as it is running default and stock out of the box. So the first feature that we'll talk about today will be dealing inside of the camera, and that is when you use Pro Mode. Now this means Pro or Pro Video. So what you'll notice here is on the Galaxy S22 series, you are able to use the Pro Mode with more camera lenses. So you have ultra wide, you have wide, telephoto, as well as your super telephoto. Now over here on the Galaxy S21 series, which is running on Samsung 4.0, you only have ultra wide as well as wide. Now when you go inside of Pro Video, it's pretty much the exact same situation. You'll have all four lenses that you can use Pro Video on, and then you only have two lenses on the back that you can use Pro Video for Samsung One UI 4.0. Now the second feature or setting that has been updated and changed is dealing with RAM Plus. So how much of your internal storage would you want to be dedicated over into more RAM? So that's your random access memory. It's a way that it can make your phone run a little bit more smooth. Uh, so when you go inside of battery and device care, so we're gonna do that on this device as well. So on 4.0, when you go inside of memory, you're gonna notice that there is four that has been dedicated to RAM Plus. Now over here on 4.1, when you go inside of memory, on the bottom is where you can choose how much you would like to designate to basically improve uh, uh, app performance. So you can go all the way down to two gigs if you want to. You can keep it as four, which is default from 4.0, or you can go higher for six or eight gigs. Now, what happens is when you choose one of these, you do have to restart your phone because it will completely operate different. So I will be doing this later on, but I'm going to be switching mine to six gigabytes for the RAM Plus. So this way the phone will run just a little bit more smooth and have a better performance. Now this next one is actually very, very fun and it's dealing with widgets. So over here on 4.0, when you go inside of widgets, this one over here, when you go into 4.1, uh, basically what's gonna happen is you have an option here for smart widget. So smart widget is a way that you're able to have multiple widgets in one designated area. So instead of you having to go through and have multiple widgets on the same screen or moving all of your widgets between different home screens, you're actually able to have them all in one spot. So take a look at this one. This right here is what a regular you know, widget would look like. Um, on this device over here, there's actually only just one sitting over there. You can see here too, I've got another widget and another widget. So here's three widgets I could have actually put in one spot because when you take a look at this, I have three of them, um, actually four of them built into one little spot. So if you already had one that was set up, you'd be able to press and hold. And then this is where you can either remove it. You can go into the settings. You can take a look at the current widget settings. So here's the current widget settings of the weather. So let's say that you go on back. Let's move over for this one. If you press and hold current widget settings. So again, it's basically just going through the settings of that widget that you are currently viewing. Now, let's say that we go through and you wanted to remove one of these widgets, simply hit on remove and it will go away. But let's say that you wanted to add more. So if you wanted to add another widget, there is one that I have been wanting to put in there and that's dealing with YouTube music. So you just basically tap there and it's going to add it right on in. So now you can see that I have five widgets just basically built into one spot. Now, if there's any of these that you would like to get rid of, basically all you'd have to do is press and hold, go to remove, and then that is it. And so this is what the widget now looks like. We're back down to four, and this is gonna be my YouTube music where I can like a song, I can hit play, and I can also hit pause without having to go into anything else. And it's all gonna be, be built inside of this smart widget area. Now, if you don't have it set up on your phone, uh, which it currently is not, basically you just hit on smart widget and you can choose any of these three starting points. And when you choose any of these ones and you add it onto your screen, then what's gonna happen is that once you add it, then you wanna just go through and you change what you would like to view. So this one comes up with three of them that is pre-made, kind of pre-installed, pre-built. You can go through, you can remove them, you can press and hold. Uh, and then what you're also able to do is then you can add in what you would like for this, this version here. So if you wanted to add in a widget from before, just like what we just got done doing, you can choose any of these. Now, the smart widget option is not even anywhere to be found on Samsung One UI 4.0. Oh yeah, and if you guys are brand new here at the channel, Jimmy is promo. If you guys appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and the latest information on your Samsung Galaxy devices, don't forget to hit on that subscribe button because it is free content. Also, don't forget to hit on that notification bell so you get notified for all future videos. 
Now, this next one that I want to talk about is actually not brand new with Samsung One UI 4.1, but I do want to talk about it because I think some people might have missed it. I don't know exactly when it was added in, uh, and it also depends on if you were using Keep Notes. So in terms of Keep Notes, I knew that this one was there before. I can't remember when this one was added in. I'm also not a huge widget user, uh, but I think I am going to be one now because I do have that smart widget because I just don't like putting everything everywhere and it takes up battery and, and usage of your phone and stuff like that too. So basically, if you use Keep Notes to, to do things, you have an option that is called Quick Capture. So Quick Capture is one of those that I actually have inside of this smart widget over here. And Smart Capture is pretty fun. Right up over here, you can actually go in, you can start doodling, you can create your little notes by drawing, things like that. The other option here is that you can uh, take a picture. So if you wanted to take a really quick picture just from your little widget, it's sitting there. If you wanted to create a note, then this is going to actually put it inside of uh, uh, the, the Keep Notes for you. And then not only is it written out, but you can also hit play. And so then you can play it back. So if you are taking notes or whatever the case, you can add that in. This one right here is going to be your checklist. If you have a checklist that you need to do. Uh, and then the very middle right here is going to be simply create a note. So when it comes down to keep notes, that is what I use to create all of my notes on my phone. I don't really use Samsung notes that often. I use keep notes just because it fluctuates and moves across all of my devices, all the uh, tablets, computers, laptops, all that good stuff. But anyways, yeah, so quick cap capture is one that is a part of 4.0, but I wanted to show it off in case if you've never seen it before. And if you've never used Keep Notes, uh, this might be one of those things that you might want to take a look at because you have multiple tools built into this one quick little widget. Feature number five is dealing with vibration. And so when you go inside of Samsung One UI 4.0, let's say that we go inside of sounds and vibrations, and then you want to go into call vibration pattern. So same thing over here, sounds and vibrations, we're going to go to call vibration pattern. So one of the things that is brand new with 4.1 is that you can actually sync it with your ringtone. So instead of it just being like a short little uh, vibration, a medium vibration, a, a tick tock, a heartbeat, you can actually have it synced with your ringtone. So whatever ringtone you're using, it'll actually be synced up with that and it'll vibrate with that. Now the next one, which is gonna be uh, feature number six is dealing with the vibration intensity. When you go inside of vibration intensity, let's say that you move on down here, you only have these three options for incoming call, notifications, and touch interaction. But when it comes down to 4.1, you have those three, but you also have vibration sound for incoming calls. Now, sometimes this thing is sitting in my pocket and I'm always on vibrate. My phone is always set to vibrate. I don't like the thing to ring at all. So this is an option I can choose to where it's going to help me, you know, miss the avoided calls. Cause if I'm wearing just shorts and it's just not touching the leg or anything, and I don't feel vibration, it'll actually play a sound to make vibrations louder. So I have not tested this one just yet. I haven't had anybody call me on this phone. I am gonna do Samsung Smart Switch here very soon. So I haven't used this as my daily driver, but then I'd be able to test it for the vibration sound for incoming calls. Uh, so I'm actually pretty excited to check this one out. The next setting that has changed or the next feature that has changed is dealing with the color palette. So if you wanted to customize your phone with whatever background you are using, pretty much what they did was they just changed the user interface when it comes down to what it kind of looks like with the color palette. I also think that this one's gonna be a little bit more smooth when it comes down into you know transitioning what everything is going to look like when you actually select some of these. So when you go over here, you basically just have your little circular palette. This one's gonna be more of a vertical palette showing you actually more colors of what it will actually use. Uh, and maybe at the end of the day, when it's actually in use, when you choose one of these colors, uh, then it may actually look a little bit better than when you were using it on 4.0. I'm not a huge fan of the color palette. I don't really fully technically need it. I kind of like the way that things look, uh, but if you love to customize your phone that way, you can definitely take a look. The next setting is for anybody who needs the accessibility settings in terms of hearing. So when it comes down into hearing, when you go inside of accessibility, accessibility, you wanna to go to hearing enhancements, your hearing enhancements, and what you're gonna notice on the very bottom is when it comes down to connected audio, or phone speakers. So this one over here is just talking about the left and right sound balance, not used for calls. This is for left and right in terms of speakers, I believe. Now this one over here is gonna be dealing when you have something connected. So connected audio, you can move it to the left, move it to the right, uh, phone speakers. So you have one more additional option when it comes down to the hearing enhancements on 4.1. 
Feature number nine that has been added or included is gonna be dealing with your display. So when you go inside of your settings, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go inside of display, display. Now, if you turn off adaptive brightness, then basically your brightness is just gonna stay where it is wherever you select it. Uh, adaptive brightness does help out when you are underneath you know, uh, camera lights. If you're outside in the sun, it's gonna move automatically for you. On 4.1, you'd be able to go through and you can actually turn off adaptive brightness and you have this option here for extra brightness so if you need to have extra brightness beyond what you're doing you're outside you know you're gonna be outside you're not gonna keep going inside uh, this is where you can actually turn off the adaptive and you can turn on extra brightness so it's actually pretty cool uh, and if you haven't known on the very top there is an option for uh, um, like extra dim so let's see there is that extra dim so if you needed it to be a little bit more extra dim that was something that Samsung fans have enjoyed and then here we come in with the extra brightness and now for the very last one, this is inside of Samsung Pay. Now this is really the only one that I haven't really figured out or maybe it hasn't been added in. It's one of those things that should be coming in. But here you can notice that you can add in your vaccination card. Um, and the other things is that you should be able to at some point or maybe right now, you should be able to at least put in your driver's license, a boarding pass, your car keys, movie tickets, and, and more. So there should be more that you're able to add in. I'm just not able to figure out where it is i went inside of the the add more debit credit cards trying to see if it was over here uh, in terms of you know adding more and i couldn't find it if i go through some of these other options here even settings i couldn't find anything for samsung pay so i know it's supposed to be there it's all written in uh, i just don't see it coming in just yet so keep an eye on that if you guys wanted to you know input your driver's license and things like that into your phone but that is all of the 10 brand new things technically nine because we talked about that whole uh, smart cap which is technically over here, um, but I wanted to show it off in case if you guys didn't know. So that is the 9 slash 10 brand new features that's a part of Samsung One UI 4.1 versus 4.0. Hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you guys did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hand subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.